Hello guys, welcome to Jira training. In this session, we will learn about Jira homepage introduction. So Jira homepage is the page, the first page available as soon as you log in into Jira software. Okay, so I'm logged in and if you see the first page available is the page that I'm on in at the moment uh, and that's the Jira homepage. So we'll see what all are the key components to understand on the Jira homepage. Right. So the first thing that is available is dashboards uh, tab. And if you click on the drop down, you will see the system dashboard and you can manage the new dashboards here. So if you go to manage dashboards, you can create or customize uh, the new dashboard for yourself, as well as you can share uh, the, the dashboards with, with your team. Uh, the second tab is the projects, which gives you access to all the current projects, the recent projects, and any, you know, like you can create or you can view all projects, you can import external project and create a new project. Then the third tab is the issues, which is used to search for all the issues in your Jira instance. So you can filter issues, you can see the issues reported by yourself or you can manage the filter so you can write the new filters with the Jira query language or the basic filters and then save those filters for yourself or you can share those filters with the other team members as well. The fourth tab is the boards, so which is Scrum or Kanban board. So for the projects that you have created or the for the projects you have access to in your Jira software. So for example, the recent, bo recent boards that you see are the boards that are associated with the two projects that, that I have created in this Jira instance. Uh, another tab is the test tab, which is available after I have installed the Zephyr test management and execution plugin into the Jira instance into the Jira software instance from the Atlassian marketplace. So this test tab allows you to manage all your testing related artifacts. For example, your test cases, your execution cycle, your planning the test cycle, creating the test cases, uh, seeing the test metrics, summary, uh, checking the traceability and all. all right. And then in the bottom, you'll see what, uh, different help options available for the Zephyr and the support. Then you see the create button here. So the create button is used to cre create any issue type in the project. So for example, you want to create issue in any project, you just select the project and select the issue type that are supported by that particular project. So if you want to create a story, task, epic or bug, then select the respective issue type, provide the summary. So you see the little star here. These are the mandatory fields. So you have to provide those in order to create the issue, provide the description and then click create. If you select create another, then it will create, it will keep, it will create the current issue and will keep the, this window open with all information, all relevant inf information pre-filled to create another issue. Then the next thing here is the search. So this is the quick search, which you can use to search issues in the Jira instance. Next icon in the header is the feedback. So you can provide feedback to Atlassian. Um, if you have any updates or any improvements you want in Jira. Then is the cogwheel, which is the Jira administration. So this will be available only to Jira administrators who are administering the Jira. Since I'm the Jira administrator, so I can see that Jira administration cogwheel and I can see the administration for the applications. I can do administration for the projects, issues, add-ons. Um, I can do user management, um, upgrades and system management as well. And then the last uh, tab is around the profiles. You can see 
your, your profile with the details in the profile. You can go to the Atlassian Marketplace and install any add-ons or plugins that are required for your project. You can see the dashboard or you can customize the board, uh, issue navigator, and then the logout button to log out from Jira. So apart from that, on the home page, you will see a default system dashboard so as soon as you log on the default board uh, default dashboard is the system dashboard you can see here which has some of the gadgets available so for example introduction and then assigned to me filter is available and then the activity stream so activity stream shows any latest updates on the issues in the current uh, project or jira instance then um, assigned to me is whatever is assi assigned to you. So for example, whatever issue type will be assigned to you will be listed in assigned to me gadget in the system dashboard. You can copy this dashboard, you can create dashboard or you can um, find other dashboard as well. So that's pretty much um, all about the Jira homepage and a quick introduction what all important information is available or how you will browse through the key information on the Jira homepage. Thank you.